They look like your typical middle class family. They could even be your next door neighbors. Although everything on the outside looks normal, this couple shared a dark secret they kept hidden from everyone until one fateful night in June 2004 when the world they knew went up in flames. Well, the kids were upstairs asleep in their bedrooms and it was about midnight. I started making some pseudo. I was pretty much in charge of the pseudo. All of a sudden I heard a crack and Mark cussed and yelled and I'm like, what? And I went in there and opened the door and fire everywhere. He was on fire. Mark Barton was rushed here to St. John's Hospital with burns over 78% of his body. He would remain in the intensive care unit for three months fighting for his life. It was here where he began his road to recovery from a 24-year meth addiction. I didn't wake up one day and say, hey, I want to be a drug addict, you know, and then, hey, I want to be a, you know, it just all progressed up to that, but that's not, wasn't my goal in life when I was a kid. The reasons people become dependent on methamphetamine varies from person to person, and families like the Bartons just goes to show that meth affects all walks of life. It's the mom in the minivan with the kids going to the soccer game. Mm -hmm. It's that lady. Yep. It's the guy in the suit driving the Beamer that you just <laughs> pulled over because he was driving right. Well, you know, he's got a little, you know, meth pipe in his pocket. You, don't, you just don't know. They're everywhere. It's, it's, a, it's an insidious drug because it, it permeates all layers of society. David Rush is a federal prosecutor who favors drug treatment over incarceration. The meth problem is not just a law enforcement problem. It involves uh, the community getting involved in education, it involves prevention, and then it does involve uh, providing resources for rehabilitation. Just sitting in a prison is not going to you know, solve the problem. You know, it actually creates more problem because then you get kids growing up without their dad or their mom or maybe both of them, then you get your foster care and it just trickles down. The Barton family is living proof that people can overcome meth addiction with the proper help and counseling. Mark has started a chapter of the national support group called Celebrate Recovery. And don't hate your parents because it's like they may be on drugs, but it's really addicting and it's hard to get off of them. But obviously things can happen because my parents often have a happy life now. So.